You want to optimize your nutrition to make your immune system work the best it possibly can, whether you have lupus or you don't. So avoiding foods that create inflammation in the body and will make you more susceptible to getting sick. We had one person say she's scared um, because she has lupus. What are something, because you actually healed yourself from lupus, what is maybe something you could, some advice you could definitely give to her through this current situation? Yeah, well, helping people heal from lupus is what I do every day, all day, uh, as, well, as well as other uh, chronic diseases. So when it comes to autoimmune disease, there's a few things you got to look out for, right? So number one, uh, things that can make you worse are going to be high stress and poor sleep. So now more than ever, we do need, and that's for everybody, by the way, uh, we do need to work on bringing our stress down. I know Colton and I were talking uh, right in the beginning about how stressful this is. I mean, you have the earthquake and then you have the virus. And then on top of that, how am I going to run my business? Am I going to make money? What's going to happen to my grandpa? I can't go to the home to see him because they locked it down, right? So there's a lot more stressors. And so now more than ever, we have to get really good at self-care and everything that we can do to bring our stress levels down. One of the pluses of being on social isolation or lockdown is people do have some more time. You know, there's people who tell me I don't have time to meditate. Well, guess what, you're home now. So maybe it's time to download some apps and uh, for meditation. Maybe it's time to pick up a hobby that you always wished you could. You know, order some art supplies from Amazon. Uh, if you're a social person, schedule visits in quotes, visits with friends where you're using FaceTime or Zoom where you can see everybody's faces. Uh, one of the cool things I saw in Italy was a DJ opened up her windows and was spinning and everybody came out in their balconies and were all singing and dancing together. And they had like a party where everybody was isolated in their own house but still having fun. So we do need to find a way, right now this is our new normal for a while. So we're going to have to find a way to decrease our stress, embrace gratitude for what we have, right? All of us that have a house to isolate in, we have a lot to be grateful for. Um, we need to be grateful for all the people in our lives that are safe or that we're keeping safe. We really have to sink into all the things that make us feel anchored and grateful and do as many activities as we can to feel good. So all different types of self-care, including enjoying people's company virtually, um, meditation and other things like that for relaxation, use YouTube to get a nice yoga workout and exercise, which actually boosts our norepinephrine, our dopamine, help us feel happier and actually is the best antidepressant and anti-anxiety medicine that's not on the market is exercise. So all of these things are in our power and we have to do those things. They are vital. And then on top of that, you want to optimize your nutrition to make your immune system work the best it possibly can, whether you have lupus or you don't. So avoiding foods that create inflammation in the body and will make you more susceptible to getting sick. So processed foods, all the junk food that people are stocking up on because they're like, we're home, might as well watch Netflix and eat a bunch of sugar. No, <laughs> you need to actually feed yourself better than you ever have. So you know, staying away from processed foods and eating a lot of meat and dairy and sugars and things, and instead eat the stuff that you, you probably know in some part of your mind you should be. Drinking green smoothies, eating salads, you know, now's the time for your vegetables, right? We want to keep your body as strong as possible. Drinking water, you know, don't just drink a whole bottle of wine watching Netflix marathon. Let's get the water into your body. It's really important to nourish yourself well. Omega-3s like flax and chia seeds, all those kind of things can actually make your immunity better, whether you're trying to heal from autoimmune disease or just trying not to get sick from this virus. So all of those things are going to help you. Um, and it's important to embrace all of them. You know, people sometimes will say, fine, I'll eat a salad, but they're still just struggling with their stress. We've got to do all of those things right now for all of us not just people with lupus, uh, but especially if you've got autoimmune disease where you are more at risk on top of being even more careful about social distancing, for example.